Welcome to All Sides with Ann Fisher. We're broadcasting live today from the Wilma H. Schirmeyer Olentangy River Wetland Research Park, here to, uh, hereafter referred to as the Olentangy River Wetland Park. Wetland Research Park, uh, it's tucked away in a bend of the Olentangy River. It's one of the nation's premier wetlands research centers, and uh, the OSU folks here are proud of their wetlands development, and they want to share what they've done with the community. Joining us today to talk about that is Bill Mitch. He's director of the Olentangy River Wetland Research Park. Welcome to the show, Bill. Thank you, Anne. Also joining us in this segment is Jeff Cox. He is with the Sierra Club and uh, also works with Flow. It's uh, the Friends of the Lower Olentangy uh, Watershed, and it's a nonprofit organization dedicated to keeping the Olentangy River and its tributaries clean and safe. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thank you. Bill, uh, about five years ago, you wrote a letter to the governor of Louisiana uh, telling her at the time that it would be a mistake to drain the water from the wetlands there and start over. And I'm wondering now, in light of the uh, BP oil uh, disaster, what is the value? The value of the wetlands, of course, are incredible for fisheries, for uh, the offshore production of fisheries, for uh, uh, biodiversity in the area. Uh, for carbon sequestration, which is uh, one thing we don't think about too much in wetlands. and uh, So uh, we're going to lose all those estuarine functions uh, uh, if, the, if the oil spreads up into the wetlands. Now, wetlands are very resilient. I have to uh, begin with that point, and, they're, and, and they will recover. Uh, so, I mean, they can cap it. Uh, uh, eventually, the oil will dissipate and microbes will decay it. The oil will degrade in that warm climate uh, faster than it did, of course, up in Alaska. What do you learn here at the research center that uh, informs you for, for, for things like this when they occur? Nature is pretty smart. We, that's what we learned. We learned that, yes, we can impact nature, but she'll re- rebound, she'll come back, and, and that that very often when you try to solve a problem, if you or over ambitious and you want to do something and you spend a lot of money, you could do more harm than good. They could leave some relics behind that would cause more damage in the long run uh, th- than actually the oil spill. Particularly some uh, levees and dikes that they're talking about ringing Louisiana with just to protect from the oil and once they're gone, their levees and dikes will still be there and they will be um, p- perhaps a disaster to the wetlands down there. The reason we're gathering today, uh, particularly, is uh, this afternoon you're going to entertain the Olentangy Scioto Ecosystem Corridor Symposium. Uh, tell us what that's about. The City of Columbus and the Ohio State University could collaborate on a uh, restoring the Olentangy River and the Scioto and basically connect us to the uh, Grange Insurance Audubon Center, which is down in Whittier Peninsula, and have sort of a what we call blue-green corridor of restored rivers. Take the dams out. Uh, restore the riparian zone along the river and just have this wonderful riverine setting with bike paths and and people boating on the river and and recreation and so on that, that we don't do now in the city people don't think of the Olentangy as an asset they think they think it's just a dirty old river and part of the reason are the dams and I think it's just a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, f- put mother nature back through the city and, and have a an absolutely wonderful corridor that uh, many cities would envy. Jeff Cox, what does the friend, the friends of the Lower Olentangy Watershed think of this? I think it's great. <clears throat> I think what Bill's talking about is is something that's happening in other places, and it needs to happen here. Right now, what's hindering this projects, these projects from going forward, is some of the dams that are in the area that need removed. Um, I think it can happen. And we're surely for it. We're going to advocate for the same system. Uh, I think we need this in Columbus. We need it to people to get to the water, to have recreation, and and restore it back to its natural beauty. Now, Jeff, uh, this has to have been something you you all have dreamed of for a long time. What oh, do you? Yes. Why do you think the the environment, no pun intended, is is right for uh, making it happen now? Well, we know that uh, the city of Columbus is in the process of cleaning up the water, getting the sewers out. And we knew from working with such a great university here and their plan for this Emerald Emerald Parkway to say, we knew it was right. We knew that we're at the point now where this can happen. We've got to take a quick break right now. We'll be right back with All Sides with Ann Fisher. 